Hi, everyone. Welcome to day 11 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity by yours truly, Dr. Özgün Ünver, uh, who is a stress and burnout coach for academics. And today we are talking about uh, an aspect of energy management, overwhelm, to be precise. Well, you might say, what does overwhelm have to do with energy management? That's why you need to watch this video. You need to listen to this podcast if you're listening to this episode. Feeling overwhelm is a sign, usually, that you are biting more than you can chew in that moment in terms of the resources that you have. And to be more pre precise, terms of the energy that you already have. But first, let's define what uh, I mean by overwhelm in this context. So in this case, overwhelm refers to you, me, us, feeling too much of something that is too big for us to, to handle, to manage. But most of the time, we use the word overwhelm uh, when we are feeling very stressed, very pressured. Does that ring a bell? Like a, a deadline is around the corner, uh, your child is sick, um, you had a fight with your partner, whatever, and everything comes together and you're like, oh, I'm about to explode. So I'm sure you can relate to that, to at least a version of that. So this, this feeling of overwhelm also affects our ability to, to think clearly and to act rationally. So in those moments where you feel this overwhelm coming over you, you need to halt. And halt, H-A-L-T, stands for hunger anger, loneliness, and tiredness. So basically, you need to check if you're hungry, if you're angry, if you're um, lonely, or if you're tired. This uh, HALT tactic is uh, used in substance abuse therapy for a long time now, um, because it requires people to come back to themselves for a moment, like um, have this, at least a momentary self-awareness so that they take a little pause before they do an automatic behavior. And in that case, uh, it would be using the substance that they would want to quit, right? And the idea is that you get that momentary self-awareness to be able to break the cycle of self-destructive behavior. However, you don't need to be in addiction therapy in order to have the benefits of halting in your life. So I would strongly recommend that you um, make HALT, this acronym, part of your daily routine to check in with you regularly, whether you are feeling one of these four big things. And some of these four could be easier for you to identify, while the others could be more difficult to identify. For instance, for many of us, hunger could be a bit easier to feel, while Anger or loneliness or even tiredness, fatigue, could be a bit more difficult to identify, depending on our history of overriding these feelings. Um, so if you're someone who's really detached from their emotions, anger could be a difficult one for you to, to pinpoint or you may not be able to um, accept that you are feeling lonely in that moment. So 
for many of us, unfortunately, there is a, a, a bit of learning to do in that aspect. And needless to say, uh, it would take a few seconds of um, introspection in order to notice exactly what we are feeling, which should be followed by accepting that that feeling, right? You could be feeling hungry, you could identify it. But if you say, oh, no, I can't, I can't be hungry because I ate an hour ago, that, that is just not possible. Carry on with the day. Hmm, really? Would your mind know better than your body, for instance? Anyway, hunger, that's for another discussion. So basically, you need to accept what you're feeling, whether you like that sensation or that feeling or not. And the, the next step would be, after you know, identifying, accepting, is to appease that, that, that feeling. If you're hungry, well, you need to feed yourself, obviously. If you're feeling angry, you need to express that anger. If you're feeling lonely, you need connection. If you're feeling tired, you need rest. So this was the tip of the day. Don't forget to hold uh, throughout your day, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another tip. And until then, mind your own revisions. Bye.